Greetings, Daniel Preseto for Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud Edition. And today we're going to look at normal maps and generating them within the Creative Cloud Edition of Photoshop. Now you can use normal maps in CS6. We actually had a way you can put them in there, but you cannot generate them the way you can in this new version of Photoshop. So I will show you what the old way would have been. First, I'm going to select the texture here on Spider-Man. Now the question you might have is why would I use normal maps? Normal maps are like bump maps, but they're used to fake geometry. So to fake additional or detailed geometry. So they behave kind of like bump maps. Now let's go ahead and turn these textures back on. If I wanted to generate a normal for this texture here, I would have had to say something like, well, I could have, if I had a normal, I could just say load texture and I'm done. Most of us don't carry normal maps in our pockets or wallets, so we have to generate them. So in this case, I'm going to say Edit Texture. I would have copied that, closed that file there. I would have said Normal, New Texture. It would have generated the new map down here. Then I say Edit that texture, paste that thing in there, sure. And then I could have used it. I could have turned it grayscale or whatever. Not really good. So that was a few steps. Now I have the texture selected go to my normal map here and say generate normal from diffuse and all of a sudden if I turn these off there it is that's what it looks like without it that's what it looks like with the normal map and it's quite beautiful I think so anyway I could do the same thing with the legs here I'm gonna select that real quick generate a normal map from that other texture and you can see there's a fine texture here and that's kind of the purpose of the normal map is to give you some fine detail not bump and crazy contrast ideal, just really something um, interesting to look at in your texture, kind of a subtle effect. And uh, there we go. We have normal maps. And you can just, let's go ahead and turn these textures on. Let's zoom in a little bit and render it. And there you go. It's generating a nice little shadow over there. And that's normal map generation in the Creative Cloud edition of Photoshop. If you have any questions, comments, please feel free to give your feedback. And thank you for watching.